thoughts po from Kim. Kim is my classmate since kinder ata until junior high school grade 10. So, hi Kim! I always tell you that you're so nice and kind. And yeah, I really appreciate kapag gandala ka ng baon mo for the entire class. So, alam namin na sometimes you just bring a lot of food for the class. So, yun. Good luck on your college life and see you soon. Next question. Skincare recommendation. What's your favorite skincare? Pa shout out po. YouTube channel. Hello, Gracious Haze. So, subscribe kayo to her channel, guys. What's your skincare? Okay. My skincare recommendation is you need to follow certain skincare. A skincare is not a one size fits all kind of thing. Maybe works for me, but not for you. Anyway, my skincare vlog will be up very soon. As in, malapit na malapit na, guys. A lot of you are asking and suggesting for a skincare routine. So, I will be sharing my skincare routine for acne and oily prone skin. So, yeah, just check it out for a further detail about this skincare recommendation. Next question. For you, what is an influencer? An influencer is a person who influences someone to be better. So, I wouldn't say na I'm an, an influencer because I'm only starting with this kind of platform. Pero, I know a lot of influencers na hindi dapat tinatawag na influencer because of certain things. Maybe, they're promoting violence or inappropriate things. Yeah, hindi naman natin maiiwasan kung anong ipopost ng mga tao sa platform na to. You need to be careful kung sino ipafollow ninyo. And for influencers, you need also to be careful with your content. Kasi a lot of people are viewing that. Once na pinost niyan public, it is already a public property. So be careful with that. So think before you click, right? For me, an influencer is someone who influences someone to be a better person. Uh, someone who expresses himself or herself so that other person will also realize na, oh, yun to pala, ganyan pala. And more importantly, an influencer is someone who knows the boundaries between what is good, what is right, and what is not. Yun. Next question. What is your favorite morning routine? What are you talking about? Like, when I get up, what I do? Or my morning skincare routine? When, well, if it is skincare routine, my vlog will be up really soon about skincare, guys. Do not worry. As you can see, I'm not wearing makeup today kasi nakaka-breakout sa ko. Maybe I'm about to have my monthly friend. But, what's your favorite? My morning routine usually composes of me waking up, then thanking God that I'm alive, and then I cook breakfast. Minsan, I wash the dishes. Minsan, I sweep the floor. And then, I go to YouTube with my engagements. I fix things. Sometimes, I vlog. And, yeah, I have different schedule for a morning routine. Ngayong week pa lang because I had online class since ECQ started. So, ngayon pa lang taga ako nag-fix ng morning routine ko. So, next question. From Desiree. Desiree is my friend sa UST at ang kanyang tanong, ate, may jowa ka na. Wala. At kung meron man, ikaw unang makakaalam. <laughs> Akala mo, hindi siya updated sa buhay ko. Ganon. Kung makatanong, hindi, alam mo, hindi siya updated. Next. Siya rin nagtanong nito, pinakaunang naging gym profession mo nung bata ka? So, when it comes to profession, I only have one dream profession simula nung bata pa ako, and that is to be a doctor. As I grow older, syempre nung bata pa, doctor lang. And then, as I grow older, no malalim lang siya kung ano klaseng doctor. Maybe it be surgery, pedia, or whatever. Ako, simula nung bata, ako talaga doctor na. Kasi I, I don't see myself doing other jobs other than treating sick people and helping other people as well. And yeah, I also have this passion to teach soon. So, let's see how fate works for us. Next. 
Talagang sulit na sulit, guys. Ito na yung kayang third question. Favorite SEM sa apat na SEM sa Uste? I should say grade 11, second SEM, and grade 12, first SEM. Yung makasunod na SEM na yun, the third, second and the third one. Because nung grade 11, second SEM, parang ang light lang ng buhay ko, ganun. And I'm really happy kasi I experienced Paskuhan. Yung third naman is, actually yung first SEM ng grade 12 is really, really stressful. As in, lahat kami pagod and lahat halos wala na sa mood minsan and minsan nagkakairingan na and all. Pero that SEM is really important to me because I never thought of being friends with two people. So, nung una, akala ko, di ko sila ka-vibes and akala ko hindi kami magiging friends. Hello? Hello? So, ayun, we became friends and I'm so happy kasi... Well, nung nakakonek na ako sa kanilang dalawa, nung naging friend ko na sila, I realized na, ay, okay, so, ka-vibes ko pala sila, and we have this same wavelength and favorites about things and perspectives as well. So, yeah. Next, from Andrea Habonilo and Tally Nurse. How old are you? I am 18 years old. Yeah, turning 19 on October 8. I will eat muna. I will eat muna, guys. I forgot. I still have wings pa pala. This is soy garlic. Hindi ako umorder ng speraka or buffalo kasi um, ayoko sa maanghang. So, yeah. Gusto ko lang is yung matamis and sour. Tami sour. Maasim. Next. From Hernandez, Mitch, and it's Gwen Lau. How do you cope up in life, especially this ECQ, and how are you coping up with this stressful pandemic lately? So, this pandemic is really stressful. It gives me a lot of anxieties every day. And I never thought na magkakaroon ng pandemic, as in sa buong buhay ko, hindi ko naisip na magkakaroon ng pandemic. No one actually thought about this too. Um, how I cope up with life? Honestly, since ECQ started until last week, we have online classes. Kaya, I'm quite busy pa. Yun lang yung ginagawa ko para pa rin ako nasa school. Mas stress lang. So, ngayon pa lang talaga ako nagko-cope up with life na I do things that I love, like vlogging, um, chatting with people, catching up with friends, ganon, to chat, or, yeah, text, ganon, social media, ganon. How I cope up with stress naman is, what I usually do is I watch movie, usually um, rom-com movies, and what I do, I sleep, I sleep a lot, kasi... Ever since I started grade 7, hanggang ngayon, I'm always puyat. Kaya, I sleep a lot. So, yun. And I wish everyone is well and good and healthy talaga. Sana healthy kayo, guys. Sana, sana healthy rin ang family nyo and stay protected. Next question. If hindi ka nagagandahan sa post, ano kino-comment mo? Um, with engagements, usually I just comment about their flat lace, how good the shot is, mga ganon. But technically, kapag hindi ko gusto yung pinopost, hindi ako nagko-comment kasi I rather not say anything than say something hurtful. So, yeah. Next. 
what is your take on cheating, emotional versus physical? So, if you are not familiar, guys, emotional cheating is the one where you hide text messages, um, you cheat, na walang physical interaction sa. Physical naman is yung nakita ka na nakikipaghalika, nakikipagholding hands, ganon. So, my take with this is all forms of cheating is not good. If you don't love your partner anymore, might as well leave him or her alone. Next question. Thoughts on people who are taking creative courses, performing arts, visual arts, media, etc. Actually, I admire a lot of people who take courses in regards with creative courses. Kasi, those are talents. Those are gifts from above. And ako, kung makakaroon ako ng talent, I would say I want to draw and I want to sing. Pero hindi ako binayaan nun. Kaya napunta ako sa science course. Kasi yun lang, yun, doon ako magaling. So sila, magaling naman sila sa ganong field. And I have really high respect with those people. And yeah, I know a lot, I have a lot of friends na napunta sa science course kasi their parents want them to be a doctor or yung iba naman gusto maging accountant yung anak nila or whatever. Pero what my take in that is our parents should support us kung anong gusto natin course kasi yung course na kukunin natin is yun na yung magiging work natin eh and yun yung magiging field kung saan iikot yung life natin so might as well choose a course na driven ka na love mo yung course ganun. so to all people taking creative courses continue doing what you love and keep your passion burning Next question, what's your book or movie genre? For books, I would say mythological, yung sila mga Zeus, ganon. And rom romantic something then like a John Green, yung mga books niya. Yan yung mga gusto kong books. I don't like reading yung mga malalim na books kasi I'm not really a reader. So, sa movie naman, yeah, rom-com. And ayoko ng horror. So, yun. Next question, from Mommy Jasmine Dizon. What makes you happy? You know, happiness is a goal. Yan yung sinisik, yan yung hinahanap, iniintay lahat ng lahat ng tao, yung maging masaya. Pero, you will never really know kapag masaya ka na. Siguro, kapag na-achieve mo na yung goal mo. And ako, ang na-achieve ko pa lang naman is, I'm a graduate of senior high. Yun pa lang yung meron ako. And I cannot say na I'm really happy na ganun kasi magiging masaya lang ako once na I finished my course sa pagdodoktor, I built my own house, I have a stable job and a loving family, and I give back to my parents, to my grandparents, and yeah, yun, yun yung happiness for me. Pero on a shallow part, what makes me happy is eating chicken wings. <laughs> yun lang yun, guys. <laughs> Next question from my dorm mate, Angelica Gan. Wing vibe or bully buffalo? Ha ha ha. Subscribe to me, guys. Char. Guys, please subscribe to my good friend, Angelica Gan. Meron siyang mga song covers there and super talented person. Super nice person and mabait talaga siya. I'm a year older than her. And she's really nice. So, to answer her question, Wing Vibe or Bully Buffalo. If you're not familiar with Wing Vibe or Bully Buffalo, these are restaurants, chicken wing restaurants. So, yung dalawang yan, I always eat sa kanila. Kasi, yung dorm namin, katabi nun, Wing Vibe. And katapat niya, Bully Buffalo. So, namimili lang ako kung saan wings ako kakain. So, i-rate na lang natin. Kapag food, parehas lang naman. Parehas silang masarap. For me, so parehas 10-10. Pero, when it comes to serving at price, sa bully kasi, 90 pesos tatlo with, with rice. Sa wing vibe, 120 ata or 145. Hmm. If you are still a student, I recommend eat na lang kayo sa bully buffalo kasi mas mura. 
And, mabubusog naman na kayo agad dun. Medyo mahaba lang yung serving time. Yun. Quick, quick, or chicken balls? Of course, quick, quick. Quick, 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 quick. Super miss ko na yung quick, quick. Gusto ko ng quick, quick. Actually, no isang gabi, iniisip ko yung quick, quick. Next, where did you buy the shirt and fave makeup brands? If you are talking about my 1D shirt, I bought it at Polito Yoi here. You can check their Instagram account and their Facebook account. And ilalagay ko sila sa description box, guys. Because a lot are asking about the t-shirt talaga. I got that shirt siguro 2015. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, 2015 ata. You should buy sa kanila guys. Sobrang dami nilang magagandang shirts na magugustuhan nyo aside from that 1D shirt. And to answer your question, favorite makeup brands? So far, I'm into local brands. Siguro I would say Yourself Beauty, Lip Pinas, and what else? Yourself Beauty, Lip Pinas, Color Bar, and Sun Glow, Fresh from Sun Glow. And Maybelline and BLK. Actually, marami. Actually, a lot. You should watch my vlog about my pouch. Andun, andun yung mga favorite makeup brands ko. Next question. Who's your inspiration in life? Wait lang, guys. Let me eat my wings first. You know, guys, wings come and go. Like, this, oh, last na to. So, who's my inspiration in life? I would say, my inspiration in life, I haven't thought it as well. Because, I just do what I love. So, no one really inspires me with that. Kasi, I know what I love and I know what I want to do. But if there's one person who inspires me a lot, that's my grandfather. Yeah, super close kami and ano ba? Lolo's girl talaga ako ever since. Kaya ganon. So, his life story, his hard work, and his determination really inspires me every single day. Next, who's your favorite member of One Direction? My favorite member of One Direction is the one who said goodbye first, Zayn. Ito yung sweet and sour nila, guys. Next question from Eddie Shell. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? That's 2030, right? So, by 2030, I will be turning... 29 years old and I see myself being a resident surgeon sana heart center kasi gusto ko mag cardiothoracic so yun I see myself na finish na ako sa, M sa med proper and ongoing residency so sana hoping sana from MC What's your fave song? I don't have a favorite song. Yun, yun. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I don't have a favorite song, but there are songs na I always sing. There are songs na close to my heart, and there are songs na I don't wanna hear anymore. But I don't have a favorite song. Next, from Hey It's Ia. What is your biggest regret? My biggest regret is being lazy all the time. Sobrang tamad talaga ako, guys. Sobra. Kasi, tignan nyo. I started my vlogging late. Kung nag-start lang ako before, siguro, it's grown na, ba diba? Um, so far, my biggest regrets talaga is being lazy all the time. Not reviewing so well. Yung as in todo review. Hindi ako ganun klase ng tao. And, quitting swimming kasi I miss swimming now and yeah not starting my channel so soon but you go you guys should remember na your regrets 
should be turned into lessons. So might as well work on it and it's never too late to start something. You can always start on your own pace and time. Next, from Sherilyn Day, Bakit ang glowing ng skin mo? Glowing skin? Really? You think I have a really glowing skin? I don't consider it ganyan eh. Pero, yeah, when, kapag wala akong breakouts, I'm happy with my skin. Pero, like na, I have breakouts. I should say, glowing skin because I drink 2 liters of water every day. Is the number one skincare tip na ibibigay ko sa inyo. Always drink 2 liters of water every day. And wear your sunscreen. Next, it's me, Sis Arzia. What do you prefer? To be kind or to be right? I don't need to choose because I can be right and kind at the same time. You just need to be kind while saying those things, yung perspective niyo, opinions niyo. Just be kind and just be respectful. So, I choose both. Next question from An Kim Jupio. Favorite person. Having a favorite person is like very subjective for me. So, I won't say I don't have a favorite person. If there is anyone na maging favorite nyo dapat, that is yourself. Maging pabrito nyo yung sarili nyo because you'll be able to love and accept yourself well. You'll be able to know yourself very well. And, yeah. Guys, we're down to the last question. And I still have my one wing left. I will eat it first before answering the last question. Okay, from Sandy's Playground, last question. What's your greatest fear? My greatest fear for now is not having my grandfather around. Siguro yun yung greatest fear ko na ayoko mangyari ngayon. I don't want it to happen so soon. Ayoko yun. Ayoko siya mangyari. Yun yung greatest fear ko sa ngayon. And I have other fears too. Like, I fear not finishing college. I fear losing my friends. But yeah, those are just little fears. Pero, the first fear I said, yun talaga yung greatest fear ko simula noon pa. Thank you guys for eating and getting to know me. Thank you because I get to know you as well with your questions. If you like contents like this, just message me in my Instagram account or leave a comment below if you want another episode of this no filter with andrea balbin see you guys on my next vlog bye